Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you how to integrate your reseller hosting account with us into your WHMCS control panel. Now it's a really straightforward process, but this is how you actually begin to resell hosting is you have to integrate your reseller account. So if you're um, watching on YouTube, uh, make sure you look through the videos and, and um, find install video if you don't have WHMCS installed. Um, I'm also going to put this in my reseller hosting 101 course on our blog. So if you'd like to take that course, it's 100% free and you can find it at namehero.com slash startup. So that's there on our blog. You can just go to namehero.com and click on blog and just look for the reseller hosting 101 link. And then you can take our course from start to finish on how to become a reseller web host. Okay. Um, before I do this, I need to make sure I have an active reseller account at Name Hero. So um, again, I've got videos showing you how to sign up for that if you um, need to do that. Um, but this is going to assume that you have WHMCS installed and you have your Name Hero reseller account. So if you have both of those, you're ready to continue watching. If not, um, go get them and come back. All right, so now we're going to log in using our secure information here. Okie doke. Now, as soon as we um, log in to WHMCS, there is a wizard. Um, personally, if it's your first time, I recommend going through this wizard and completing it. We're going to click Next. Now, here you can enter your company name, which I did on install. You can upload your logo. If you don't have a logo, don't worry, you can upload it later. Um, but this is easy, it's just easy if you go through this now. Um, email address, I did it on install if you want to change it or edit it. Um, if you want to um, enter your address, you can do it here, you can do it later. Again, it's easier to do this now than going back and doing it later, but it's up to you. Um, since I'm demonstrating, I'm not going to waste your time watching you or having you watch me type. Um, next, if you want to use PayPal, you're going to have to have a merchant account, okay? This is how you get paid. So if people were going to pay you through PayPal, click Enable. Enter your PayPal email. It's very simple to enable it right here. Down here, it says Merchant Account. Easily accept credit cards of WHMCS, and um, this will apply for one. Now, if you want to use Stripe, you can go to Stripe.com and set that up. I'll have another video explaining how to do Stripe. If you want to integrate with another merchant account, they've got one that sponsors WHMCS, but you're going to have to fill out an application and all that. So I'm not going to click that right now because that would probably be pretty, it might not pretty long, but it's going to take five or six minutes, you know, to enter all the information about your business to get a merchant account. The easiest way to get started is using PayPal, PayPal and Stripe, but PayPal is probably the easiest because you just have to put your email address. Um, so if you got that, enter it here. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to keep on going here in this video. Finally, if you want to mail in payments, people can mail you in payments by check or mail. I recommend only doing this if you have local clients. And if you do, make sure that check clears the bank before you set them up because you never know with people, okay? I mean, if you're in business, you understand that. If you're not, then, you know, I'm telling you, watch out accepting checks nowadays. Okay, next you can set up your domains. Um, obviously, you're going to want to resell domains if you're offering hosting. Um, if you're not, then don't worry about it, but you're probably going to, okay? Um, so this automatically integrates your Enom reseller account. So you click Enable. Um, the top TLDs, I recommend just clicking all these. And then the price you want to offer. Um, you can always change this later, so just leave it default. And if you click this box right here, this is going to set up your Enom Domain Registrar account. I recommend doing that right here too. Why not? It's right here in front of you. Now I'm not going to waste your time watching you, watch, having you watch me sign up for an Enom reseller account, but if I click next, you can see this is all the stuff. Um, that they want. Now, if you already have one, you can click here to log in. Um, but it's, you know, if you don't have one, you can go right here and just get it all done um, now. So very, very easy, very, very simple. Okay, and finally, this is the last step, and this is to integrate your reseller hosting account. So this is what you need from Name Hero. So we're going to go over to here. This is our Name Hero control panel. We're going to go to our package, Corporate Hero, and we need this information right here. So the first thing we need is a server name, philip.uswebhost.com. That's our host name. Now at Name Hero, you're going to say, well, this isn't my domain. That's right. But this is white labeled. So if someone goes to uswebhost.com, it's just a blank white page. We did that because there's no mention of Name Hero anywhere. So no one will know you're using Name Hero. 
So go back here. You're going to enter philip.uswebhost.com. You are going to enter your username and password. Now, this was delivered to you in your email. So if you don't have your welcome email, you can click email history. Take it a second. Reseller account information. It's right here. We log everything inside the user interface. So if you didn't get, if it went to your spam folder, you might want to get it and whitelist this. But there's no reason why you don't have this information because we keep it all here in the control panel. Um, so you need that email because it's going to give you the username and password you need for this. So this is your, um, this is going to be your main um, reseller account information in that email. So I'm going to enter mine, my username, and I've got my password from my email. I'm just going to copy and paste. Okay, after we do that, we're going to verify the connection. Boom, looks good. Brings down Philip for us. Primary IP address. Let's go back here. Back up one. It's right here. Now, if you don't have a dedicated IP, you can just use this one. You can use this one if you don't have a dedicated IP. If you bought a corporate account that comes with WHMCS, you get a free dedicated IP. So that's going to be right here. Go back here. Enter it here. Make sure that your name servers match what you see here. See these here? Make sure they match. They do. Click next. Boom. That's all there is to it, folks. Now you're ready to set up your hosting packages, which I'll do that in another video. So I want to keep everything kind of step by step here. Um, but now WHMCS has been configured. Um, at this point, you should be integrated with your domain reseller account. You should be integrated with your web hosting reseller account. Um, and you should be ready to sell domains, sell web hosting. Oh, and you should be integrated with your merchant accounts too. So this is going to, that's the trifecta, the merchant account, the domain account, and the reseller hosting account. So you've got everything you need now. Um, so you're ready to go. The last step is actually setting up the web hosting packages in your system, which I will go through in another video. Um, but, you know, we're doing all this in under an hour. We're getting all this set up so our business can run. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Feel free to reach out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I recommend going over to namehero.com startup and registering for our course for free because it's going to put all these videos in a nice order for you so you can go one, two, three, and so forth and so on. So let us know. Besides that, thanks so much for using Name Hero dot com